Okay, so the next topic we're gonna work on here is using trigonometric ratios to find the side length in a right triangle, okay? So you're solving for x in the triangle around your answer to the nearest tenth. So instead of having um, the, uh, not having the angle, you actually have the angle this time. So you're trying to find that last side length that we don't know what it is. So it's easiest if you quickly identify what you know and what you don't know. So if, if I'm looking here, let's see, what do I know? This is my opposite. That's my adjacent. This is my hypotenuse. That's my angle, obviously. So it's going to be one of these three. It's, it's so, it's ka, or it's toa. It's one of those three. It's got to be, okay? So if you're looking at this, what do I have? Well, I've got the angle, I've got the, this x and the 6, so I have the a and the h. The a and the h is going to tell me that it's cosine, so we're going to be using cosine because that's the only one that has a and h, so it has to be cosine, okay? So remind yourself, all right, so cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, okay? So we're just going to fill in what we know. All right, so that means the cosine of 42 degrees is going to be equal to um, our adjacent, which in this case is 6 divided by x, which we don't know. We're going to try to find out what x is. Well, you're trying to solve for x. x is on the bottom. The easiest way to handle this is multiply both sides by x. If you do that, your um, x's are going to cancel. So these guys are gone, okay, and you're left with x times cosine of 42 degrees is equal to 6. Okay? Well, well, we don't want this cosine of 42 degrees here either, so how do we get rid of that guy? Well, let's divide. Divide by cosine of 42. So, there we go. But if I do it on this side, I have to be fair. I have to do it to the other side. All right, so I did it to both sides. Now, why did we do that? Simple algebra, these cancel. So x is equal to 6 divided by the cosine of 42 degrees. Okay? Now, what does that mean? Because that's not gonna that's not gonna work. You can't type that into Alex. You're gonna need your answer to the nearest tenth, which is one digit. Okay? So what you're gonna want to do is go into your calculator, okay, and you're gonna want to make sure you have some certain settings set right. Okay, there's two settings you need to know. If you go under document settings, you want to make sure you're in degree under angle, where it says angle, you want to say degree. Okay, and then display, uh, digit display, you can set it as float. It'll just go out as far as it wants to. Okay, so angle, you want to make sure it's a degree, not in radians. Okay, and once you have it set in degree, hit OK. All right, if it's set in radians, then you're going to get a different answer. You don't want that. So you want to set in degrees, type in 6 divided by cosine of 42. What do you know? It's right there. It's going to be 8.073, yada, yada, yada. Okay? So it wants it to two digits. So, all right, that means we're going to have x is equal to 8 point, I'm sorry, not two digits, one digit. Well, because this is a 7, okay, that means then one right before it gets rounded up. Okay, so it comes 8.1. 8.1. Okay, and that's going to be your your length of your hypotenuse, and you're done. But you got to be careful, okay, because a, a lot of times you can get decimals and stuff. So just because you got a decimal doesn't mean it's wrong. It just means, um, you know, they're giving you a little bit of a harder problem. So there you go. You're set to go, and uh, yeah, you should have this done in no time.